Oh, cool. Right. And this topic is about graphs, and, and graphs are some nodes and some arcs, or we can call them vertex vertices and eights. And we represent a graph with the uh, with, with with its eights and its vertices. vertices. Uh, like it shows here. Uh, as graphs are some vertices and edges, we show them in this way, and we call a graph to has a loop when one of its nodes has a uh, has an edge to itself. So the node itself is connected to itself. Then we call it a loop. So the graph has a loop. Some graphs have multiple edges, and when two nodes are connected to each other with two different edges like the one here at the top. And we said the graph has a cycle when there are two ways to reach to a, to a certain node from another node. Like now there are two ways. Uh, now we can walk from the purple node, go to the blue one, to the next blue one, and come back to the, uh, into the first node which, which we started with. Now, uh, as we know what, what are the multiple edges and what are the cycles and loops, we can define a simple graph. A simple graph is a graph that doesn't have any loop or any multiple edges. Uh, a directed graph, uh, until now we see some examples of undirected graphs. Now, a directed graph is a graph uh, similar to directed, but now uh, the pair of uh, nodes are important. Like here, we go from the node 2 to node 1. So this way is one-sided. Only 2 is connected to 1. 1 is not directly connected to 2. And so on, 1 is connected to 3, but 3 is not connected to 1. Uh, with the same edge. A complete graph is a graph in that all the nodes are connected to each other uh, and the, uh, you can go from each node to another one just by one edge. Uh, we can we uh, usually call completed graphs with C and we in uh, and we represent them by the number of nodes that they have. Like C3 is a triangle, is a simple triangle, and C5 is shown here, which, uh, is, a, which is shown in this way. And completed graphs uh, has a really important, uh, has a really important properties that we, uh, that we should know that uh, when all the nodes are connected, so we can say that uh, the number of edges that the complete graph has is shown in this way, n times n minus 1 divided by 2. And now uh, we define path. A path is a, uh, is a sequence of nodes and that shows uh, how we can cross, how can we cross the graph from one node to another one by going through edges and no edges can be uh, re repeated. Like here we can go from A to B and to C. And A, B, C is a path between A and C. A connected graph is a graph in that all the nodes are connected. It means that you can, there is at least one path between every two nodes. The tree is a simple connected graph that has no cycles. So here, it, a tree is supposed to be simple and connected, and it has no cycles. So by knowing these three properties, we can figure out uh, how many edges does a tree need. So a tree needs n minus 1 edges. And so all the nodes be connected and it doesn't have any, any cycles. And there are multiple definitions of a tree, uh, like we can say that a, a simple graph with n minus 1 edges that is connected. So 
by having this number of edges being simple and connected, we, should, we will make sure that there is no cycle. Or we can simply say that uh, a, simple a simple connected graph with no cycles. Another kind of the graph that is important to us is by parade graphs. This means that we can group nodes in a way that in the nodes in group one are only uh, has edge to group number two, and there is no edge between nodes in number in nodes in group one or nodes in group two. A subgraph. Uh, a subgraph is a uh, we can show a subgraph as a graph that is a subgraph of the, our main graph. For example, here in G prime uh, with the group of vertices V prime and E prime is a subgraph of G with a group of vertices and edges that are shown in the right side. And then V prime is a subset of V and E prime is a subset of E, then we can say that the G prime is a subset of G. Uh, as, as shown down here, the graph in the left side is a subgraph of the graph in the right side. There are uh, two main ways to represent a graph. Uh, in one way, we show that the edges are connecting which vertex, which vertex to, to, to the other one. Like here, E1 is connecting uh, the vertex 4 to vertex 3 or E2 is connecting vertex 1 to vertex 3, and so on. The other way uh, shows which nodes are connected, and by, the, by number 0, 1, uh, what, we mean, what we mean by 0, it means that they are not connected by 1. It means that there is only one edge between those two nodes, and numbers can be any, num any integer numbers. If they, if they be two, it means that there are two edges that connecting in those nodes. For example, if we change in the one that is connected, the one that is in row one and column three, which is now one, if we change it to two, it means that there are, uh, the vertices one and three has a multiple edge. And that's all about graphs.